James Held at IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We've got the WBA world champion, none other than Cal Yafai. How are you, Cal? I'm good, thanks. Good. How does it feel then to be sort of the main man, top of the table in your home city? All the fighters around you are sort of looking up to you, aspiring to be in the position you're in. Talk to me about it. Yeah, it's good. It's, uh, it's nice, you know. It's, the city's getting, the city of Birmingham is getting behind, behind me now, so. It's, um, it's good to see my achievements getting recognised. Indeed. You're in with Sugura Muranaka. Yes. Very tough game man. He hasn't been defeated in nine or ten years, according to your trainer. Talk to me about him. How much do you know about him? Yeah, what's a bit of him? What's a bit of his last fight? Um, very aggressive. Um, he'll be looking to put me under a lot of pressure, um, which I expect. So, yeah, it should, it should, it should be um, a fun fight to watch. He was expected to be under a lot of pressure against Lewis Conception. When we watched him in the workout, a lot of the media guys were thinking this guy's fanatical. So, yeah, yeah, the yeah. best, the better the opponent, is it the better we get of Cal Yafai? 100%, no doubt about it. Um, I know I have to step my game up then. I knew I had to step my game up. I remember walking to the ring thinking, this is it now, this is... There's no turning back now, there's no saying, oh, now you know what? I don't actually fancy this, but um, I was well up for it and, <laughs> oh man, what a night it was. Indeed. So you still get sort of goosebumps thinking about that night. I remember my last year moment of that night was seeing you with your mum after the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Directly yeah, yeah. after and seeing how much it meant to your family yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. people around you. Yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of emotion involved. You know, it's a lot of hard work that people don't see behind the scenes. Mm. Um, people see, you know, the ring walk and walking under them bright lights and think, yeah, that boy's living the life, man. Is it done? But it's not. It's not all that. You know, that's the fun part. That's the part we enjoy the most. Um, mm. It's a grueling hours in the gym, you know. The dieting, yeah, the, dieting. the camp, the running. Yeah, that's what, you know, I, I don't, I, basically I'm in camp for 12 weeks, I live like a hermit, you know what I mean? I'm just gym back, run back, gym back, that's all it is. There's no like chilling with the boys and going <coughs> out or doing anything like that. Mm. For me, this is, um, this is this is where I've got to set my life up in the next seven, eight years and, um, and get out healthily and... And is it. Become, a, become a household name in, in my home city. So is your plan to live like a monk for the next 10 years and then sort of be the Don of B-Town forever? Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. Um, but I don't live like a monk, you know what I mean? Like when I'm After my fights, so I'll go on holiday and stuff and chill and mm. I eat all the shit that there is around. But um, I love my food and that's it. But then when it's time to get back into training, I've got to get on it, I'll get on it, man. No doubt about it. This potentially could be a banana skin for you. All jokes aside, it is going to be a tough fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a hard fight. And said Makanura is coming to, to put it on you to take this belt away. Are you focused? Are you determined? Are you ready to switch on Saturday? I'm switched on now. I'm ready. You know what I mean? I've been ready for I've been switched on for the last 12 weeks because I know this kid's going to come over here and he's going to, like I said before, take my bread off my table. Um, I know what it feels like to be the challenger. I know how bad I wanted it five months ago. When I was before making that ring walk, I knew how, how bad I was willing to do anything to, you know, to make sure I come out the winner and the world champion. Um, and I'm sure he'll feel the same. Um, but either way, I'll, I'm I'll prepared for anything he can bring. And um, I want it even more now. I want to stay at the top. Eddie said, if you're victorious, I'm going to go with the quote that you like the most when you're victorious. Yeah. Will you look for the unification clash with the, with the likes of Inui or um, even, I know there's another fighter in the division that's quite there, interesting for you. There's Rungs of Ida, Ty B. Gonzalez, um, there's um, Anka Chas. I was uh, there for the Rung Versailles yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> would be an interesting fight. I don't yeah. know if it probably generates enough, enough sort of paper and money as some of the other fights. Yeah, the that's, a, that, that's the thing, you know. Um, would that fight generate the money uh, that if I, if I fought Gonzalez? Uh, I don't think so. But I think um, they've got to rematch each other anyway in September. Um, I'll keep a close eye on that. Um, and if Eddie can work his magic once again, and if Gonzalez wins that, um, I'll be happy to jump in there straight with him because he's a name in a division. Massive, you know what I mean? he's massive, a massive name. name. Massive. Um, I've been to one of his fights before in Los Angeles. Um, I've seen the support he gets. Um, so yeah, he's a man, and if we can bring him here, then. Happy days. Speaking of Roman Gonzalez and saw Ronga Sai, how did you have the first fight? It was very controversial was a, where I was yeah, sitting yeah. at ringside. I had my own opinion, everyone has their opinion. What, what was your it, opinion? It, it, was, it was a close fight. I thought uh, Gonzalez nicked it um, about two rounds. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think that would be a, a good, a good That's answer. That's what I to thought, um, but I think he'll win the rematch clearly this time. I think he'll win it. Uh, I think he'll win it and he'll win it convincingly, I think. Do you think Roman Gonzalez will come over to Birmingham? So I reckon Eddie could sort of pay the money to get him. I don't know. Hmm. 
That's a question you'll have to ask him. Well, have to put I said loads, I might have to put it on him and say, you know what, I've been with you from day dot, yeah? I'm one of your like first world champions from debut yeah. to champion, which yeah. is only two anyway. Like who is it? Me, me and Josh. Mm. So just digging a bit more, yeah, and just pay pay the Nicaraguan what he wants, isn't it? And just, just get it over. Let's get it over here. You're also one of the IFL champions. That's what I'm saying. We covered you from before oh. you sort of started yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to becoming world champion. That's so what I'm saying. Big doesn't mean that man. doesn't mean that I get to keep the belt or anything, but. I'll get you a replica I mean? though if you want one. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. My little boy, when he found out I don't actually box when I do interviews, he looked at me with a look of disgust. I've never seen such a look of disgust in my life. I think he thought I was an actual boxer for years. <laughs> and when he realised I just do the videos, he was he was doomed to so that replica belt might help me. You should might have blagged him. You should have like just you know it's building up for more disappointment, No, 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 you should have done, you should have done like about twenty minutes, one of the days before we got off of school. You should have like just been downstairs in your gear, poured a bit of water on you with your gloves on and everything, and your shadow boxing, and be like, "Yeah, son, I've just finished the workout." What and happens be, like, when he gets to 14? He's thinking like, "I'm the dawn of boxing." Then obviously, he realises that I've just 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 bamboozled him his whole life. I don't think I could live with it. Yeah, but you could just say, just give him a look for these one of these snide fighters on box rec or something like that. You know, one of these that have un and retired undefeated around the same time that you, that you might have retired, and just say, "This is the name I went by, son." Yeah. And just showed him the name. Jakov Gospig. Yeah, some like one of these Hungarian gym fighters that have had like 25. <laughs> you know, that have had like 25 fights and like won them all with no like 20 knockouts. Yeah. They just decided to give it up because they were making about 25 quid a fight. And when they come to do a weigh-in, they face around the wrong way. <laughs> after 24 previous contests. See, that could have been. We're yeah. not going to go into that in too much depth. Okay, you fire. Always a pleasure to catch up with you, mate. Thank Always you very much for giving me some time. I'll catch you over the weekend. Cheers, Thanks, James. James. Cheers.